Most of the people are running meta ad for business consultancy services, but they are not getting qualified and potential leads through meta. So in this video, I'm going to teach you that how you can set up campaign to get more potential clients from meta. So let's start. Here you can see my ad account and I will simply click on create. When I will click on create, I need to select objective. Here you can see a lot of objectives. But right now, I just want potential clients through lead form. So I will select leads. Continue. First of all, you have to give name to your campaign. So you have to select your campaign budget or ad set budget. I will select the daily budget of 100 dirhams. And also you can select your special category like if your ad is about financial services like banking and insurance related opportunities so you can select this one but right now my ad don't fall under this category so I will not select I will select next and I will select name for my ad set like I will say new ad set one and here is the most important part like you have to select your conversion locations. Most of the people uh, do a mistake of selecting website and instant form or website only, websites and call. But if you want to generate leads and potential leads through meta, you have to select instant forms. So I will select only instant form. Here you can see and scroll down. And now you have to select your Facebook page. So I will select Emirates Elites page and then click on performance goal and here is two performance goals. The first one is maximum numbers of leads and the second one is maximum number of conversion leads. So I will select maximum number of conversion lead. I will scroll down and cost per result I can't do anything with that. Click on see more and dynamic creatives so you can enable dynamic creative so right now i will keep this turn off in next video i will teach you that how you can use dynamic creatives perfectly according to new meta algorithm update which is called andromeda so now i will just scroll down and here you need to select start date and end date but right now i will just only select start date whenever i want to turn off this ad i can do and you can also schedule your budget from here. So right now I just want to run ad only in Dubai. I will select Dubai. You have to come in radius and you have to increase radius up to uh, 45 or 50 kilometer. So in that way you will be only running ad in specific area of main Dubai. But if you want to select county you can select. But I will suggest you if you want to run ad in specific location you have to select minimum and then scroll down and you can also select minimum edge like I will keep minimum edge uh, 22 here you can select your edge and after that you can select your genders but right now I will keep all genders for detailed targeting uh, you have to select interest and behaviors like I will click on browse and I will select the interest manually but if you want to select like I want to show this ad to those who want businesses services like people whose interest are in businesses and entrepreneurship small businesses and small and medium enterprises I will select broad interest because I will set up a conditional form for this and I will also explain that how you can set up conditional form for this. Here you can see my audience is very broad because I'm not going for narrow targeting because I want to give maximum potential client because Andromeda has changed the algorithm of meta. So you have to select on placement here you can select your placement but right now I will keep everything advantage plus you can select your devices platforms uh, placement controls i will suggest you to keep everything exactly same 
Now let's jump on to add. So I will select new leads add one. So I need to confirm Instagram account. Okay, now it's fine. First of all, I need to set up ad creative. So I will click on set up creative and click on image ads. And here you can select ad from account images and you can also upload from here. But right now I will select from account images that I already uploaded. So let me find if I have, so here is my image. I click here and click on next. You have to keep this original and you can also optimize it according to that. But right now I will keep everything original. And here is the important part. You have to write primary text, headline and description. For ad copies, we need to take help from ChatGPT. So I will click on upload and here I will go in downloads and I will select this ad creative, click on import. So you have to give this prompt and here you can see three ad copies. Right now I will just copy this. Paste here. I will copy headline and paste here. I will copy description and paste here. Here you can see my ad is not optimized. So for optimization, I need to create more primary text, headlines and description. I will click on add text option. I will copy another primary text. So now you have to select your call to action. I will suggest you to keep learn more or get caught and get in touch these kind of uh, call to actions. Like right now I want learn to more. I will click next and click on done. So here you can see my ad is ready and I will set up form. I will click on create form and here I will give name and I will select high intent where people can confirm their infos and I also I will scroll down and I will select the optimized and click on next. So here you can write your headlines and description. For this you have to take help of ChatGPT. I will again go in ChatGPT and upload this ad creative again. and give a command so here you can see the data of intro page and questions so actually i want to apply condition on this question like when someone will say that just for researching i want to exclude the dead person from my questions so now i will just copy this data like i will copy and Paste here. I will copy description and I will paste here. It's too long, so I will remove half from it. Now it's looking good. I will click on next. So here I need to add questions. Simply click on add questions and click on multiple choice questions. I will select this question. and paste here i will select now i will select these options and paste here as i told you that i want uh, to add logic in that so you have to click on conditional logic so then you have to select the logic so now i click on Next question, I will say multiple choice question. I will come here and select the question and options.
now I will click on add question I will add another question I will copy this and paste and I will add option here so I will now apply the logic on these questions so first of all I will go on question 1 and when someone will select the main land company uh, he will go to the question 2 and I will apply same logic to all questions because I want these people in my form now I will add logic on second question click on go to question and select question 3 so here is the important part I want to exclude those people who are just for researching so for the immediately within one week I will apply the logic to submit form and for those who want to open in one or three weeks I will also uh, apply submit form I will also apply logic of submit form on those people who want to register their business within one to two months or open their bank account in one to two months I will also select submit form and I need to exclude those people who will click on just researching for now so I will select close form for them so now you have to scroll down and you have to add contact information so I will write the description that please fill this form correctly Uh, so here they have to add their full name email and phone number so I will not keep everything optional so all these things are mandatory I will click on next here I need to add link of privacy policy if you have website so you can paste a link of your privacy policy here if you don't have you can create and paste so I want to go in Google Docs and I will create a privacy policy page so for the privacy policy I open my chat GPT again and click on new chat and give a prompt I will copy this privacy policy and will paste here so now I will click on share I need to keep it linked with everyone and copy and done I need to paste link here click on next review screen next and I can also select chat on whatsapp if someone will submit the form contact on whatsapp and I will paste the link of website uh, if someone who is not interested will go on this page for non lead and I will click on create form so my form is created here you can see so I need to add another creatives so I will just copy this I will make three copies of it I will change the name of each copy I will say to three and four 
I will go in second. You have to make sure that your farm is linked with all the ads and it must be same with all. So now I will just click on edit and click on remove. I will select on add image, select image and I will upload from gallery. Click next, select the placement, original, 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 next, the headlines, primary text and description are already written, click on next, done. So you have to do same with other ads, like you have to change ad images, which we say ad creatives. and. This will increase your ad performance and according to the new Meta Android Meta update, you will get more and more result if you will apply this setting on your ad account. I will select original and next, next and done. So now you simply need to click on publish. So your ad will be published and that that's all for this video and I hope you understand and if you want my personal coaching or consultation you can contact me through my email uh, which you can find in description and for more videos please subscribe my youtube channel. Thank you. Love is.